I'm Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my botlane guide to Kalista Alistar. So, Kalista Alistar for SoQ is actually a pretty good lane. Um, they work well together in the fact that Kalista doesn't want to alt in until she has all of her abilities, and Kalista does, or Alistar does the same thing. So, SoQ, they are very good rumors together. Uh, Kalista can keep throwing Alistar in for, like, pulverized headbutts, and then they do tons of damage. Alistar's tanky. Tanky is good for solo queue, because you can get caught out a lot. Kalista and Alistar have really good synergy, I think. It might be the best for any support Kalista. He basically promotes passive in the first few levels, because he needs his Q and his W to combo, but he also needs his E to sustain. So when he gets all three, he becomes a lot stronger, and the same thing with Kalista, she needs all three of her abilities. Past that, level 6, she can throw people, and when she throws some Alistar, he can immediately knock them up just with the ulti, and then he can pulverize and then headbutt them back in, which is actually really good, because normally he has to use a flash for that, and it's way longer range than a flash, too. So, level 6, you're actually really fucking good for all ins, and past that synergy, he's good sustain. It helps you get to the landing phase without killing yourself quickly. Levels 1 to 2 for Kalista Salastar are, they're okay. Your your whole objective here is to just farm, basically. Uh, hopefully you were able to take the neutral camp, so your level 2 is accelerated. And then through that, you'll hit an, a quicker level 3. Uh, but level 1 to 2, you'll just want to sit back and farm, let Alistar take his heal. Don't do anything crazy because neither of you can really act upon the enemy screwing up this time. So level 3 to 4 is where Alistar and Kalista get a big, big power spike, both on themselves. Because Alistar gets all of his abilities, he can combo people now, and he can heal. And uh, Kalista will be able to have all of hers. She can jump around more, and her rend will be doing more damage, and she'll have her W. Um, you can go for combos, and hopefully do lots of damage. Uh, make sure Alistar auto-attacks with you to dunk on them, basically. Um, past that, just... Wait for the Alistar combos. Uh, you can trade a little bit because you do have sustain, but they're probably going to be too ranged. And if you do it too wrong, both of them will be hitting you while you're trying to hit one. So be a little bit careful. Levels 5 and 6 for Kalisa Alistar are very good. Specifically 6 more so than 5. Uh, level 5, you just get a point in rend and you're all in to do more damage. So if the, he does combo and they get low enough, you'll be able to kill him pretty easily. Uh, at 6, though, you can actually start fights from, like, anywhere, or you can save your Alistar, even though he's already ridiculously tanky anyways. So, he's out of position, he's going, he's comboed, uh, the jungler comes up, you're still far back, you can pull him back, and then he can even save you by headbutting the jungler. It's a pretty good combo. Um, and then, you can also initiate fights just by ulting him, like, literally just running at the enemy and ulting them, and hopefully you can catch the idiot carry out and combo them back into you. So, strategy for Kalista Alistar, uh, you want to hum people by just, you know, uh, headbutt pulverizing, maybe even flash pulverize headbutt. Uh, it'll misposition them and make sure they're locked down for Kalista to get a few autos in. And once you get a few autos in, they're already going to be taking lots of damage strictly from the autos. And then the W even proccing. And then when they're finally low enough, you'll be able to rend to finish them, as long as... As long as they weren't able to dish out enough damage to make you have to back up. Because you can actually dodge almost all of their abilities, uh, depending on who they are. Like a Thresh, you can dodge everything. Might be a little hard, but you can still do it. Um, yeah, past that strategy, just Kalista wants to wait on Alistar to do things, and Alistar wants to just initiate. I would say Kalista Alistar doesn't have too many bad matchups. I don't think there actually is one specifically that I can call out. Um, I would just say right now, playing against Graves, again, as Kalista is the hardest one. He's the strongest AD carry right now, I think. And he's just really tanky, so you, you have a hard time actually finishing him with all your spears, and anyone has a hard time actually killing him. And he actually has really good trades. So be wary of Graves. The rest of them are okay for you. Uh, you will lock down anyone else, and they won't be able to do anything, and you'll do lots of damage to them. Uh, good matchups, specifically, I guess, would be... Let me see. Lucian's pretty good for you. Is Q, like, you already had trouble hitting Q's Lucian in the past because it randomly misses sometimes, and now Lisa can force the miss on the piercing light from Lucian, so it's actually a really good matchup for her. Uh, past that, Kate's pretty good against, uh, Lisa's pretty good against Kate. Uh, this is okay against Quirky. He does lots of damage, 
but you can dodge some of his abilities. Uh, Draven is a pretty good or even matchup. He does lots of damage, but if your support is falling up correctly or starting the fights correctly, you'll be locked down, so you can't dish out the damage to you. You'll be taking way too much. Thanks for watching this following guide to Khalees Dallastar. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at T9Sneaky.